Father Yah gave me a dream concerning Angela White, a.k.a. Black China. He said she conjured up deceitful plans to fool the world. Yah says she is a trickster and a fraud. The definition of fraud is a person or thing intended to deceive others typically by unjustifiable claiming or being credited with accomplishments or qualities. The definition of trickster, a dishonest person who defrauds others by trickery, stage magician, skilled in the use of tricks in illustration, a conning or deceptive character appearing in various forms. Welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah Kirkland. Here is where I share everything about frugal living, homestead, and gardening. I also have occasional dreams that God give me that I share. I recently shared a dream about Kurt Franklin. I think that's something you really should check out. So if you're interested, I will be leaving the link below. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more dreams y'all give me about well-known people. The Black China dream started out very personal and parallel to my real life. In the dream, I had just lost my oldest daughter. And in real life, my oldest daughter just transitioned August of 2022. And in the dream, I was speaking to a large group of people that just lost loved ones. I was sharing with them how I dealt with the transition of my daughter with the grace of God I got through it and how he gave me peace beyond understanding at the end of this speech I offered them a prayer of repentance following with the opportunity to give their life to the most high Yah. right at the prayer one of the coordinators walked up to me with great assignment and she was like wow that was a great speech you really help people with their grief she offered me to come talk to a young lady named Angela White. She stated, Angela White just lost her mother and she's in a deep depression. I said, okay, just schedule her to come up here and we can meet anytime. She said, no, she's not able to leave her home due to her situation. So do you mind meeting her at her home? I said, oh, okay, no problem. She stated, I will have a limousine to meet you here tomorrow and drive you to Angela home. So the next day, the limousine pulled up to an all white house. It looked very familiar to me. I actually questioned myself in a dream. Why do this house look so familiar? But I didn't know who it was. I was greeted by the housekeeper. She asked me to come in and sit down. And she was talking to me about Angela White. How Angela White was such a good person. She stated Angie White is really hurting from the loss of her mother. And Angie is a good person. She pulled out a photo album of the way Angie used to be and how Angie ended up being this great person. I felt like she was trying to convince me that this person, Angela White, was a good person. And to me, if you're going to convince me someone's a good person, they're really not a good person. I quickly got bored and asked her to please go get Angela for I can speak to her if I can't speak to her now I have to go so the housekeeper went upstairs and never came back down but Angela boyfriend came down he was a brown skinned male with dreadlocks or braids handsome and he was about five nine and he was also telling me about Angela and Angela's situation and how of good of a person Angela was. And he could tell on my face that I really didn't want to hear it because I just heard all this from the housekeeper. And I was like, may I speak to Angela, please? So he went upstairs. He got Angela and Angela 
finally came down. I said, wait a minute, Angela White is Black China? She started laughing. She thought it was very funny. She was very sweet, very kind. She was interested in everything I said. And she was just very pleasant to be around. I shared my testimony with her and I gave her the opportunity to say a prayer of repentance. She said, oh no, I don't want anything to do with God. And she left me stunned, speechless, weak. I didn't know what to do. You guys, I couldn't take my eyes off of Black China. As I was looking at her, I was receiving the word from the Most High Yah. He said she is the most happiest as she ever been. She have a greater audience now. She have a sympathy. She have fame. She have money. And most importantly, she have completed the mission of the enemy for her to sacrifice her mother. She had to change the trajectory of her life in order to change the minds of the world about her. For she can sacrifice her mother in peace. And while she's sacrificing her mother, while she sacrificed her mother, I'm sorry, you guys are cheering her on. You guys are praying for her because of this buffoonery, this trickery that she is doing. And she conjured up this plan from the pits of hell. That's why she is getting so much support from the media. <laughs> okay. This is the plot and plan of Satan, okay? She is not a child of a god. She is a Satanist. She is a Luciferian, okay? Christians, pray. Believers of the Most High, Yah, pray. Ask him for discernment. And watch who you pray for. <laughs> I know the Bible said, pray for your enemies but some people you guys you will get attacked for praying for them every dream i ever had the most high y'all said pray for them y'all did not tell me to pray for black china and i'm not calling her black china out of disrespect i'm calling her black china because that's who she still is she had that tattoo she had her tattoo removed but the most high Yah said it doesn't matter because she have it tattooed on her heart and the most high Yah weighs the heart these people are fooling y'all's people you guys are being fools okay pray and ask the most high Yah about this dream don't take my words for it <laughs> don't take anyone's word read your bible and pray spend time with the most high yah it's about relationship ask him for discernment ask him for eagle eyes know when your enemy is coming 